was good everybody it's the white tiger here just spawning into the uh, server uh, I actually already been on this server world uh, once already whoops I got flying mode on okay disabled okay anyways uh, I actually came into this world and built that base over there already so I was doing a lot of testing and stuff and oh god it looks like another storm I hope it doesn't destroy anything anyways uh, now we got about 224 mods in here, or something like that. It's like 225, but only 224 are working, and there's a spider around. Okay, there he is. Anyways, I haven't recorded anything. Whoa. Aw, oh, son of a crap. Uh, fire skeleton from, I guess, special mobs. Oh, whatever. Uh... I haven't even been into the video in a few minutes. I'm already about dead. <laughs> Figure that. It's Minecraft for you, especially all these daggum mods. But no, the reason I haven't been recording much video uh, here lately is because, well, I've been trying to work on this mod pack here. And number two, uh, to be honest, life just kind of gets in the way sometimes. And y'all know how it is. And if you don't, then you don't have a life. So yeah. Anyways, that <laughs> may, may not be true. I don't know. But. In the last video, I noticed myself saying a lot of F-bombs and dropping F-bombs here and there and everything like that, so I'm going to try, ah, I'm going to try and attempt to not do that as much. Uh, just happened to happen that way at that time, and usually I just upload raw video because I just don't have the time really to edit these videos, but... Uh, as you can see, all these uh, beacons and stuff, roguelike dungeons, <laughs> another pirate ship because I found one. And then some of them unbanded base. We'll have to go fly over there eventually. But uh, I got rid of as much stuff as I could. And most everything that you see here is legitimate except for, obviously, these obsidian chests. And I was building a big reactor downstairs, and it's still kind of there. But, uh, uh, of course, open blocks elevator doesn't work. I uh, just want to at least go and show y'all right quick, just because I can, and never, ever, ever prepared, am I? Oh yeah, I forgot, I can, and how come it didn't uh, give me the taking inventory for the first time? Huh, well, okay, but no fireworks. Man, with these mods, like, every time you do, like, a good, like, a good, a new thing, uh, it shoots off fireworks, like when you, uh, for the first time, take inventory or whatever, it shoots off fireworks, and it's so cool. But yeah, there's a big reactor that I was working on, and does not work, unfortunately. I'll have to wait for a few more updates, I suppose, but uh, at least show you what's going on. Try not to cheat as much now, but yeah, look at that, the reactor's still online, and not a single... RF generated, not one. The energy buffer is completely empty. I must be doing something wrong or something here. I never saw these in 164. Uh, coolant. Piped out via cooler points. Casing it was super cooling. Oh, so you have to actually manually. Oh, I'm a derp. So you actually have to manually input coolant and then take it out. You can't just leave it in there like a whole bunch of cryo. cryo. Oh, whatever. That cryo gel stuff is, y'all know what it is, and y'all are going to uh, sit there and gripe at me for it, but yeah, so everything's been taken away, and open blocks elevator still doesn't work, it works when it wants to, but it just doesn't usually want to, so we'll just go out this way, and yes, I know I already enabled the command to fly, but I've really got to get into playing Minecraft legitimately, because all I've been doing is ever since I've been playing is just testing and building crap and testing out more crap and whatever. Uh, I had a little way to get up here. Yeah, this way, okay. And then up here, okay. But anyway, so what I wanted to get into this video, uh, I'm really not trying to derp out as much as I used to be yeah, because it's really boring watching me. <laughs> I can actually finally understand. Oh yeah, I left the lights up here because these new arc lamps from Galacticraft just light up everything and I just decided to replace all the torches with the lights but anyways uh, let's get started with what I want to talk about 
if uh, you have the mod pack that I'm using here, then you'll be able to get the, what's known as the extended workbench. And this is actually really cool. Um, I was trying to make backpacks earlier, but uh, extended, yeah. All right, like extended things like this. Like I actually had to extend the iron swords, but I just decided I just wanted to uh, give up and just start all over again, just because I want to try to do things legitimately. But this is a great mod right here. Uh, it's very easy to you know get into early in the game, so you can make like you know the wooden stuff, but they're extended like they reach out like 50% more and then like last a whole hell of a lot longer it takes a little bit more stuff but I mean ah yes I have my keys rerouted but uh anyways uh, uh building blocks right uh I wanted to at least make uh started to say I wanted to make an iron one but it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to well I might be able to with nine of them I don't know uh, I think it's cobblestone. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing there. But, anyways, for the iron sword, I believe it was the recipe like that, and then that, that, that. Yeah, okay, cool. So, five. Oh, I'm lacking one to make two iron swords. Dang. Yep, sure enough. It's typical. Uh, uh, well, it leads me to this thing here, which is a Buildcraft Edition. It's a basic duster. I was actually kind of toying with this just because this inter engineering diary, this actually showed up when uh, I first uh, got this mod going on it. And as you can see, actually, yeah, okay, Eureka, you start playing all your feature builds but realize you'll need a ton of resources you also start thinking of a way to make that easier yeah so I think that goes with this buildcraft additions because I added a few more mods in a recent update and that's really the only thing I can think of that updated that did that um oh crud uh here I'll tell you what I'm trying to find all my stuff that I was working with earlier is that it? No, that's the blood altar and all that stuff. All of this stuff was found either legitimately or dug up legitimately or whatever. And yes, even the spider, spawn spider egg or whatever, that was found legitimately. Believe it or not, I don't, but... Yeah, I gotta show you that. Veshing uh, stick. Unbreaking one. Really? <laughs> that's funny. I love mod, the mod makers of Minecraft because they have a sense of, of humor that... You just can't get in any other games or anything, you know. But anyways, I digress as usual. Uh, I just I can't see the iron dust that maybe it's over here in the secret chest. See, like I had a whole bunch of crap that was had gotten out. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so there's the iron ore and the osmium ore, the iron dust I was working with, my blueberry. Yeah, see, actually, I, I, you know what? I'm just gonna at least I'll just go ahead and at least get these since these were legitimately. F legitimately found and made and this was legitimately found but there was all my old uh, armor or whatever and green hard canister from Tinker's Construct it's what's down there that's from extra cells uh, you know bigger storage disks or whatever and then of course obsidian tools and everything from Tinker's um, and obsidian chest but yeah I'm, I'm, I'm actually spawned in this big purple backpack but I'm just gonna actually Try to make my own now. The sacrificial knife I did make, Osmium Minga, and the heart piece. Uh, I don't know if anybody knows about the heart piece or not, but I might as well go ahead and show it to you. The torches are legitimate. And I got a full inventory, of course. Uh, shoot. Uh, I don't need that dang on bow. Okay. Back. Uh, uh, okay. Alright. Now, what I wanted to show y'all. <clears throat> Lazy Old Dog's base back in the background. I had to show you all that when it actually gets interesting. But I can make these iron dusts apparently from Buildcraft Editions. I can. Y'all can. Whoever's got the mod pack, if it's uh, not me, it's you, then whatever. But what you gotta do here, and this is really simple to make. It's like a slime ball and stone and some other stuff. You know what? Let's 
well, you know what, you got any eye more than likely, especially if you have the mod pack that we're using, so you don't really need it. Craft. Nope, it doesn't even come up like that. Oh, it's because my keyboard is screwy. Build. Oh, I can't. Spell. Build. Anyways, alright. I don't see the additions on it. BC Builders. Ah, uh, facades, 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 facades. Ah, uh, too much stuff. Oh, that's building guy. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, anyways, there's a but stuff, ton of missing stuff, so, yeah. Sorry, I'm off doing my own thing again. Ah, uh, I forgot to fly. Anyways, what you're supposed to do on this basic duster is just jump on it, literally. You throw the ore on top of the damn thing, and you jump on it. And this is what you get. Iron dust. Uh, obviously, you don't get eight of them. You only get, like, two per one ore. But you're basically doubling your ores, and you should just be able to just pop these suckers in here and cook them up real good for some iron. And what we are missing is some coal now. Herp derp. Man, even trying to do this right, I still end up messing up, so that's okay. You either like it or you don't, but whatever you do, don't like the video. Do not like this video. Don't do it. Oh, wait a minute. That's kind of cool. Yeah, see, okay, look, yeah. Ah, uh, I'm not outside, but fireworks everywhere. When you actually make achievements, that's so cool. Probably showed y'all that in another episode. But if you hadn't seen it, then there it is. So, not really better than iron, even though it is iron. Huh? Whatever. But yeah, fireworks. Hey. Okay, so these iron dust from Billcraft Editions. I didn't know this, but actually, per dust gives you two ingots. So that is very ba. Very, very, very ba. <laughs> I don't care who you are. That is just cool. So, alright, so we should have enough to make another iron sword now. And the purpose for this, I had two of them each, okay, that's even more BA. But the purpose of this, might as well get, oh yeah, <laughs> I already had two of them made. Herp a dump a derp. So let's not make them since we got that. But that's how you make the extend iron swords. And the reason for this, let me show you. Uh, yeah, okay, because we got the dual wielding thing going on from uh, Battle Gear 2, I believe it is. I'm not sure. I'm pr uh, it's this icon up here. <laughs> but yeah, this is the reason why it's so BA. And you can also put shields and other swords up there too, but that is cool. Two swords and then extended iron swords that's just cool in itself and it also makes me look cool <laughs> so yeah and also when then you're they're sheathed look like I can hold something else in my arm they're sheathed on my sides it's like whatever you have last in your hot in your hands when you change out to the regular hot bar then it like goes on your back or whatever uh, I, have, I happen to have two cookery swords but hang on <laughs> Yeah, it's all on the back now. The Kokiri sword that I had and the uh, Deku shield. Man, it's been a while since I played Zelda. I love that mod, man. Zelda sword skills. God, I love this mod. Oh, yeah, and uh, this is other mod that uh, I can sit there and, like, keep behind a whole bunch of, like, he set up to, like, ten different keys, the mod author, uh, on one single key like 10 different things or whatever so that'll be very helpful with undoing all these controls look at all this red shit that's pathetic the only reason being is because there's like every single damn mod i can think of that's in here and it's not really every single damn but as many of them as i can squeeze in here that you know in a certain certain time but yeah I don't know why. Uh, oh, yeah. So, okay, so we start out with that. Uh, I'm really 
probably just going to cut this episode a little short because I really need to study up on some of this stuff because as far as I know, there isn't too many videos out there about this stuff, but there might be a video or two about the Billcraft edition, so I'm going to go look that up and everything. But uh, anyways, y'all take it easy. I'll probably see you in a little bit or maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> And you'll see me right quick again. Uh, there's another thing I wanted to show right quick. Uh, as well as this extended workbench, it works as a regular workbench. So, skill or uh, heart container. Yeah. So I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get all these little hearts legitimately this time. Cause last time I just went ballistic and got like level 30 skilled container hearts and I had like blue hearts instead of like any of the other colors instead of green or yellow or orange and I just thought that was kind of cool to mention but oh yeah and while we're here right quick I didn't even show off anything else this is code mender's place and why doors ain't working now like there's no sound oh yeah the muffler <laughs> I forgot like uh code mender had all these animals and crap how the hell do you keep getting out and you too. But anyways, uh, sound mufflers. I put these sound mufflers down here so that way we won't hear them. I don't know how they keep getting out. The only one that stays in there is you, loyal pig. Alright. But yeah, that's the reason why you can't hear the door and any other sounds at this point. And I'm stuck on the damn... Uh, I never could understand why trap doors didn't work quite right. But yeah. Um standard little bit as expected okay and he's been doing advanced genetics finally 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 got advanced genetics up in 1710 so this is so awesome I'm gonna have to come over here and steal some stuff from him steal some genes or whatever but yeah anyways go back down right quick might as well show off Chris's modular base too I'm sure you remember Chris, yeah, unfortunately he's not in this episode right now, but look at that. Look at that thing up there. Yeah, I'm going to have to cheat just to get up there, but other times I'm going to attempt to try and not cheat. But, whoa, that was a leaf that just flew in front of me. That was really cool. I actually made me think. Anyways, yeah. Uh... <laughs> now, the reason it looks like this, all this, if you'll notice is the Archimedes ship's balloons. So yes, as you might have guessed, his base is actually modular. I mean, modular. <laughs> yeah, the wrong word. Mobile. Whatever. His base moves, and that is so freaking badass. I don't care. It deserves a full-on BA badass. Getting low frame rates in here, but... Yeah, that's okay. It's probably because his... Yeah, this is nuclear room in there. He had all water covered up in here and everything, but, uh, yeah, you move the base and water doesn't go with you, so we'll have to probably either change that in the configs or something, but apparently he uses steam engines now, this Archimedes ships mod, so he's just trying this out and just putting them in random places. Uh, more likely he's got them in the wrong place, so if anybody knows, do let me know, because I want to know, and it's... This lamp's turned around, okay. Oh, yeah, because, yeah, whenever you move the ships, it, uh, the Biblio Woods doesn't stay in the same place, so that's okay, though. Definitely worth it. Yeah, and these things, oh, I see this thing over here. It's one of the solar panels from Compact Solar Rays. I thought I got rid of that and got something else, but that's okay. Anyways, that's a heel crystal from Advanced Genetics, so if anybody was wondering what the heck that thing was that was just moving and all these little corner parts. That's it. And is Codebender's base mobile? No. Answer is no on that. But uh, I think it. I think the block size is like 2096. Like as many blocks as two, like 2096 blocks for Archimedes ships. And I went and increased it. No, 2048. 2048. And I increased it to 4096. That's what it was. Okay. But yeah, um, everything else about this base, except for the windows, are basically, for the most part, legitimate. Because I found this barn, and it started out like this, and then like the walls were right here or whatever, and it was really small and whatnot, and it only had the second story. And 
you can kind of see the outline of the original design of it. I just found it in the world. And I just was like, man, this is a big old huge barn. I think I'll take it over. But yeah. Uh, I'm going to get into some other Zelda stuff eventually. Uh, <laughs> lazy old dog space just isn't done all that well quite yet. He's still kind of working on the modular force fields first. Yeah, this ain't a Zelda dungeon, not a true one. This is a roguelike dungeon. I just mistaked it for Zelda because when I went in and before did the little Zelda do 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 ding thing let you know that you did something right or you're in a secret area of some sort. <laughs> but let's see, will it actually work this time? Will it do the same thing? No. Been in it once. It Okay, well, that's rather disappointing, but that's okay. Oh, somebody's actually been through here, I think. No? There's some uh oh I hear, oh god, fire. Yes, I am scared. I am pissed scared of this dungeon, because I have no type of armor on whatsoever. But Yeah, anyways, I, I think I am going to go ahead and just cut out here, but... Uh, leave this video rather short, but uh, make sure not to like the video. Whatever you do, don't like this video. Don't do it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, hopefully there should be a mod pack download uh, somewhere at the bottom. I should have a client and a server version. I'm not making any money off of this whatsoever. So if any mod authors have any gripes with me having their mods in here, uh, just tell me and I'll take them out as usual. Uh, but Honestly, you shouldn't have a problem because I suck and I'm very, very small and tiny. I'm a nobody. But anyways, take it easy, y'all. Later.